Hey everyone, so before I get into this video, I just wanted to say that only a small percentage of those who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up enjoying my content, consider subscribing to my channel as that would mean the world to me. Enjoy. Yo, what's going on guys? So after more than a year in development, Ridrings has finally merged their Vulcan implementation into their master build. This endeavor has taken this long due to making sure that Vulcan has the same feature sets as OpenGL, such as resolution scaling, shader caching, along with many other features. What this means is that to use Vulkan, you just have to update to the latest version and you should be able to change the graphics backend in the settings. Now it's worth noting that updating to this version will invalidate all of your previous shader caches, so you will have to rebuild them from scratch. Now this isn't as bad as you may think, as shader compilation speeds on Vulkan using the Spear V shader backend is magnitudes faster than OpenGL. Along with this update, OpenGL and Vulkan will also share the same shader caches, so you won't have to compile shaders separately for each graphics API. So some of you may be asking, why should I use Vulkan over OpenGL? Well, one reason is that if you're using an AMD GPU, you can expect a pretty significant increase in performance using Vulkan compared to OpenGL. Now, if you're using an Intel iGPU, you can expect many more games to render correctly, such as Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and Shin Megami Tensei 5. So for AMD and Intel GPU users, you should forget about OpenGL and just set Vulkan as your default graphics backend. So what if you're using an NVIDIA GPU? Well as I covered earlier, Vulkan compiles shaders much quicker than OpenGL, which allows for a much smoother gameplay. Along with that, some Unreal Engine 4 games such as Bravely Default 2 have graphical errors on OpenGL which Vulkan fixes. With that being said, you have the privilege to use both graphics backends to your preference as both perform well. Also, although Vulkan has been merged into the master build, there are still a couple of issues that need to be fleshed out, such as AMD GPUs having graphical errors on Mario Kart 8 and Xenoblade Chronicles 3 not working. So yeah, that was a brief overview of Vulkan finally being available on the master build, and feel free to check out Ryjinx's blog post, which is why I based this video on. Yeah, that's it for me. Peace.